Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this houndstooth pattern in Affinity Designer. This pattern is called that way because it resembles a hound dog's tooth. It is a pattern that is common in the fashion industry. As explained in my previous tutorial, in order to create a pattern for a pattern fill in Affinity Designer, we first need to identify the core pattern that repeats itself throughout the composition. The core pattern is sometimes referred to as a tile. In this pattern, I identify with the following core pattern that I highlighted with a red rectangle. The key to identify a core pattern is that it must start at the top, where it ends at the bottom, and it must start on the left, where it ends on the right. So this is what we are going to seek to replicate in order to do a pattern fill. And this is what it is going to look like after we have created and exported it. Alright, so to get started, we go to File New and we create a new composition. We set the size to 1000 by 1000 pixels in dimensions. We'll leave the DPI to 300 and then we go here to margin and we disable the margin as it might cause hindrance in this particular pattern because of the snapping and then we click on create. And then we're going to start drawing the pattern. So first we go here, we make sure that snapping and snap to grid is enabled. For this particular pattern, we're going to use a grid system. So we go here to view, grid and axis and then we'll go here to show grid, and then we'll go here to basic to set up the grid. So here as spacing, we set it to 100 pixels. We'll leave the division as one, and then we'll click on close. So now we have our grid system that is set up, and then we can start drawing the pattern. So first we take the rectangle tool, we set the fill to black, and the stroke to none. And then we'll go ahead and we draw a black square over four square units of the grid. So it must look like this. And then to draw the rest of the tooth, we take the pen tool. Then we're going to draw an M shape over the top right corner of the rectangle. So it must start here from the middle of the top edge of the rectangle. And then it goes here, other one square unit diagonally, to here, to the top right extremity, to here, and then to here, to the middle of the right edge of the square and then back to the beginning. And then we set the fill color to black. And then we press on escape. And then we need to create the other part of the M shape here at the bottom left of the square. So with the pen tool again, we start here at the top left corner to here to here then to here to the middle of the left extremity of the square, then to here to the middle of the bottom extremity, and then here one square unit, to here, to here to the bottom right extremity, and then back to the beginning, and then we set the fill color to black, and then we select all three shapes, and we press on Ctrl G to group them together, so now we have our first tooth that is created. So in order to create the core pattern, we are going to need six tooth overall. So on the first diagonal line, we are going to need one black tooth and two white teeth. And in the second diagonal line, we are going to need two black teeth and one black tooth. So in order to do that, we press on Ctrl J to duplicate the black teeth. And we move it to the top right extremity like this. So as you can see now, they are fitting together. And if the tooth is created correctly, there should be no white space or discrepancy. And then we press on Ctrl J to duplicate the tooth again. And we position it here. And then we select all three teeth. We press on Ctrl J to duplicate all three of them. And then we move them to the bottom right like this. They should be positioned like this. So while holding shift, we select the tooth here, the tooth here, and the tooth here, and then we set the fill color to white. So it must look like this. So now we have all the tooth that we need to create our core pattern. So the core pattern is going to be located from this point here to this point here. And we are going to delineate it with the rectangle tool. So we take the rectangle tool and we set the fill and stroke to none. And then we go ahead and we draw a square from here to here. And then we select the square, and then we make sure that it is positioned correctly. 
and if it is positioned correctly, we are going to export what's within the square. So we go to File Export. We set the file type to PNG and the area to Selection Area. And then we export what's within the square. And then once we have exported the core pattern, we can use it to make a pattern fill. So in order to do this, we go ahead and we create a new document. And then we disable the grid system as we are not going to need it. So we uncheck Show Grid. And then we take the Rectangle tool. We set the Fill and Stroke to None. And then we go ahead and we draw a rectangle all over the composition. We select the rectangle and then we take the Vector Float Fill tool. We go here to set Bitmap Fill and we select the pattern that we just created. And then we click on the composition to do a pattern fill. And then we can adjust the handles to make the pattern bigger or smaller as we want it. So if the pattern is created correctly, there should be no discrepancy between the teeth. All right, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to create a hound's tooth pattern in Affinity Designer. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye.